Hello everybody, Midnight Goddess here. Happy sixth day of Vlogmas, or countdown to Halloween. It's a dark and stormy night. It's raining, thunder, lightning. I thought that'd be a great night to tell you a story. It's a true story. This happened when I was about 13, 14 years old. My mother fell in love with a man who was not the nicest person. Um, he was in the military, and he was someone who we, I, we never got along. And they were married for 16-some years uh, until my mom passed away 10 years ago. So, we lived in, our, in Northern California, my mom and I did, and when we got, when she got married, we moved to um, Central California, Edwards, uh, near Palmdale, um, Rosemond, Rosemead, Rosemond, I can't remember, um, and we lived on the, on the military base. So, we move in, everything's okay, um, when my mom and stepdad were home, everything was okay, for the most part. Um, I had a stepsister. I have. We're, we're still family. We still consider each other family. I have two, actually. But one of them lived with us, and the other one came on visits. And when my stepsister and I were alone, we would see things. And we always had to do the dishes. We always had to kind of clean up the house while the parents were gone. And um, we'd always see a face in the window. In the We had a, a back door and a front door. The back door had lace curtains. But we saw a face through the curtains. And only when the parents were home. Um, and then... You know, I never figured out what it was. It was just, it looked like an outline of a, of a man's face. And, but you couldn't see the, any distinguishable features. It was just an outline. So, time goes on. We told our parents. They didn't believe us. We were young kids. I was 13, going on 14, and she was 11. And... My mom got a job working out of town, and my stepdad was working on the base late hours. So, we were alone more and more, and I didn't like being in that house. I never liked it from the beginning. I didn't like it. It had a lot of negative experiences in that house. My parents were fighting all the time, or our parents were fighting all the time, um, my stepsister and I were fighting all the time. It was just a really negative energy in that house. We got to the point that um, we wouldn't play outside after dark, uh, even in our backyard, because it just didn't feel good. Uh, there was desert behind us and we'd hear the coyotes and everything that wasn't a problem they wouldn't jump the fence um and edwards air force base is surrounded by a big white like concrete fence um and then there's the desert in the middle so i wouldn't go outside after dark if it was dusk i'd be inside even if my parents were home yeah my stepsister wasn't so susceptible susceptible to energy, but she did feel it later on. Um, we always had little accidents around the house. Um, always things kind of would go wrong. My mom, um, she fell in the shower, and the shower was the kind of shower that it, it had the stuff down so that it, it was like a skid-proof kind of thing. Um, she would get hurt a lot, my mom especially. Not so much my stepdad or my stepsister. I would get hurt um, in weird ways. Like, I would just turn the corner and, like, get 
hurt. Like I'd hit my arm or something and it would cut deep. Um, I would just, you know, drop a fork and it would slice my foot. Um, things that shouldn't hurt you did. And then, um, my stepsister, my mom didn't get along and my stepdad and I didn't get along just at all. I was going through some major depression. I was never a depressed person. I was always very cheerful. I was always very positive. And I was going to counseling. I was suicidal. Uh, that wasn't me. And yeah, that could be chalked up to, you know, maybe new family, new dynamic. But we lived in the house for three years. And never, I mean, we never really had good experiences together unless we left that house. And we'd go for long drives towards the end to avoid that house. My stepsister reached a breaking point where she decided she wanted to live with her mother, even though her father had custody of her. And my stepdad blamed my mom for that, but that wasn't the case. Um, then uh, she moved out, and I was by myself. And one night, I was alone because I'd get home from school as a latchkey kid. I would you know, come home, open the door, come inside, and, and, you know, you wouldn't leave. If I left, um, my key would disappear, and I couldn't get back in the house, so my mom got home at 9 o'clock. Fortunately, I had great neighbors, but still, it just, yeah. I got locked out during a snowstorm once. That was not fun. Um, one night, I, I was in my bedroom, and I thought I heard I, someone scream, and... So I went towards my mom's room. I thought, well, maybe she's home. Maybe my, maybe, maybe they're fighting again because they always thought about everything. And I saw, like, like hair, just a swoosh of hair. And I was like, Mom, are you, are you home? And I, I came inside, and I couldn't move. I swear to you this is true. I, I could not move. It got really thick. The air got really, really thick, and I felt, I didn't hear, I felt, get out. So I told my mom, I said, I'm not going to stay here anymore. We're going to, I'm moving back to my grandparents, and she said, no, you're not. So I just stayed in my room. I got more and more depressed, and we stayed there for a year, a year longer, and finally my mom's like, you know, I can't handle this. She was going through depression. And, again, she wasn't somebody who was prone to depression either. She was uh, just so unhappy. And so we moved to um, Nevada. And that made things, I guess, better. Um, the house wasn't... <laughs> it was, that's a story for itself. Maybe tomorrow I'll tell you another ghost story. But Edwards was creepy. It was a creepy town. I had some really creepy experiences um we used to sit out on the walls my stepsister and I did and watch the coyotes and watch things you know come and go and um I had a friend named Eve and Eve is passed on now um we'd go walking in the desert and um you know I was maybe 14 thinking I was hot stuff because you know she was a smoker, and I was kind of a social smoker, and, you know, we'd go walking in there smoking our cigarettes, hot shit, and we'd see some crazy shit, um, but Eve, she actually, I was there when she died, uh, she would huff lighter fluid, she was 15, and, uh, her father did some stuff to her. Um, her sister's still alive, so I don't want to say too much, but it was a very negative, uh, experience in, in that town. It's just a weird town, and I was so glad when we moved because I didn't think I'd survive. I'd get random illnesses. I'd, I'd just get, like, colds. Um, I was always sick. Like, I literally, I'd get better, and, like, a, like two weeks later, I'd get sick again with something different. I was always running hot or cold, 
and I never felt well. I was always pale. I mean, I'm pale. I'm pale. But I I just wasn't feeling right. And, um, you know, doing some research as an adult, I found out that there was a lot of activity in Edwards, and there's also a lot of experimentations being done below ground um, because they had, uh, NASA had their little lab down there, Area 51 and all that stuff down there. So that's my ghost story for October 6th. I hope that you found it interesting. Please comment below if you've had any strange experiences and if you want to hear more and ideas for videos for the next coming up weeks. I've got a lot of ideas. I'm just kind of running around crazy um, with all these things I have to do. So sorry it's so late, but better late than never, right? I've got many, many more stories, so perhaps I'll do another one tomorrow or I'll scatter them about, but thank you all so much for watching, and please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Many blessings.